do something because this is scary. Non-compliant window tents, including rear windows, are now prohibited. He didn't say it, but the internet sure thinks he did. This viral video of Prime Minister Mark Carney is a deep fake, cooked up by AI and convincing enough to fool almost anyone. However, there are signs you can look out for to separate the news from fake news. Professor Thomas Patrick Keenan from the University of Calgary says it all starts with the source. Did it come from a news outlet? Well, they probably fact-checked it. Did it come from TikTok? Maybe not so good. So I would say start by considering the source. If you want to go a little bit deeper, have a look at it and see if maybe the voice doesn't match. The way I think this one was done is that they used existing footage of Mark Carney saying something and put a totally different audio track on it. To verify suspicious or AI-generated videos, Professor Keenan recommends tools like Invid or submitting clips to fact-checking sites. But if you need a quick read, he says, look closely at the visuals. Blurry edges, mismatched lip sync, or distorted logos can be all red flags. We took this deep fake to the streets to see if people could spot the deception. Did you realize that this video is fake? Uh, no, I didn't. It's AI generated. Could you tell it from the audio video sync out or something? No, I couldn't. And I actually like have quite a bit of AI experience, so that's kind of surprising. It's fake. It's fake news? Is AI? Is it? Okay. Couldn't you spot it? I didn't really look out for it. And this isn't the only deep fake of a political figure out there. Professor Keenan says we're only going to see more. I mean, there's famous ones of, uh, you know, Justin Trudeau and, and now it's going to be Mark Carney that, you know, they go viral on the Internet because they're very entertaining. As long as you take them as entertainment and not as fact, that's fine. They can be fun to watch. The tools to do this are getting so plentiful. All vehicles manufactured before 2000 will be gradually phased off. In Calgary, Hannah Said, City News.